Hello guys, this is the one and only Hansel, and today I am bringing you some zombies. In this video, we're going to be playing solo zombies on farm in survival. Now, I haven't really played here much, so I'm not really sure how this will go, to be honest. I'm hoping it goes good, I mean, but who wouldn't hope that something goes good? But I'm just trying, I'm just going to try to have fun. I'm going to try to get as far as I can, but I'm not going to fret over the little things and this because the point of any video game is to have fun and I feel that some people lose that aspect when playing games and take it a little too serious okay one second guys I have to set my controls to default again because I had someone else play on my account and they May have changed some things up. So sorry about that, but I have to go ahead and get that out of the way. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and buy Quick Revive. And that'll stop me from being one hit by zombies. Because going down on round one is never fun. And that has happened to me before, sadly. Very sadly. And I be, I got lucky those two times with the quick knives, but once again, if you just aim above the zombie's head like that, you will always get a quick knife. As opposed to sometimes where you'll get like a lunge like that. And having just a quick knife, that allows you to hit the zombies faster and move on to the next ones or get in multiple melee attacks if need be. should give me points now nope it's not round two yet there it is nope still not giving me wrath still not giving me my points oh well it's fine I guess I'm still gonna try to knife I like to knife until round three that's where I get rid of all my pistol ammo and then after round three once we get rid of our pistol ammo, I like to hit up the box. But that's a high risk, high reward. Because if you end up getting a grenade, like a monkey grenade or anything of that sort, then you are finished. Because at that point you have no gun. Zombies are still able to hit you pretty effectively. I just keep turning around because I'm making sure I'm not getting hit. We're going to get hit from behind. I'm just making quick work of these round two zombies because very easy. I'm just going to go ahead and repair this barrier. I'm also going to try to repair that one. Oh, nope. I'm just not going to get this money. There's our two. Two more knives that gets us some more kills and now this round we are going to be shooting we're gonna try to train some zombies together and we're gonna shoot and now I have no idea where to run a train on this map but we're gonna try it looks like this area right in here has no fire or anything bad of that sort so might as well go ahead and do that run there uh, I need to change that real quick again I'm sorry for doing this but I do not like having the toggle. I, I'm used. To, I get used to holding down the button, and then I have to hit it again to take it off in the middle of the zombie thing. It's like ah, kind of, kind of messes with me more than anything. It's no big deal, but if it's best to be as comfortable as possible as you can, because. When fighting a zombie horde, you, you don't want to be uncomfortable. I mean, you want to be relaxed, not fearing for your life, which you shouldn't be. They're only zombies. They're mindless. But it is still... Still slightly scary. Ah, oh, I'm just kidding. After, I used to actually be... Funny story, I used to actually be scared of the Call of Duty zombies. I know, kind of bad, but... I got over it, and I used, but when I used to be scared of them, 
first couple of times I played, I would only play with friends. Because I didn't want to have to face all these zombies by myself. It just, the thought of it overwhelmed me, I guess. I'm just going to throw a grenade to get the rest of them. There we go. And then three 400 points. If we can open the door, we'll be good. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I think I saw Juggernaut in there. Yes. Look. Yes. Right there. I just want to get one shot on a zombie so I can go ahead and get the Juggernaut. And this gun I actually kind of like in zombies, surprisingly. So, here we go. I'm going to try to run circles now that I have Juggernaut. And my Cap 40, which shoots in incredibly too fast. There's no reason to have it shoot that fast. Especially, I'd like them actually to lower the fire rate of the Cat 40 because it just burns through ammo way too fast. Okay, let's come down this way and we're going to try to get out. Yes, we did escape. I'm not sure how good this circle is now that I think about it. If they're already making me have to like dodge and everything on round 4. Okay, well it takes care of zombies relatively easily, just... Better remember to aim high. I wasn't even following my own tip there for a second. And this is like the perfect example of when to use this. Oh, did not aim quite high enough. Didn't even get the kill there. But that's a ton of free points. Ugh. And now we get to use our pistol again. We're going to go ahead and get Speed Cola. And the other perk I'm going to get is Double Tap Root Beer. Because I actually do like that perk. Don't have enough points. I don't know what I was doing. I almost got caught up. But let's see. So I'm guessing that might be the only mystery box place for this. It also appears that we have no Pack-A-Punch. Which doesn't make me happy. But I will just have to deal with it. This is not a one mag kill anymore. Appears to be roughly mag and a half. I'm not trying to shoot fast again, guys. Having a fast trigger finger in zombies does not matter at all. I'm just going for accuracy right now. I'm not shooting that fast at all. So. Okay, let's see if we can run back here in this circle. Yes, we can. Okay, there's, we just have to watch out for fire if we run that, that way. Okay, let's run around this thing. Hmm. And I am playing all these survival maps blind. I'm kind of going to try to do a series of each map. And I'm saving... Transit last because, well, Transit, I actually have played, and I think it'll be one of the longest, or it should be. And I'm just using this pistol to get the most points, aiming for the head, because headshots are worth the most next to knife kills. And each bullet is worth 10 points, I'm sure you guys already know that. And I should be able to just knife this guy a couple times. There we go. And after this next round, I almost... I think, yeah. After this next round, I'm going to go ahead and get double tap. But for now, I think I saw the Galva Knuckles. Yes, I did. I'm going to go ahead and get those. And this is going to end the first segment of the Zombies playthrough on farm. This has been the Warrior Hansel. I'm out.